Welcome to Lingua Latina Tutorials with Mr. K. This is chapter 42, Lectio Grammatica. So the first section here, we have practice with preposition plus the accusative or ablative. So which one does it take? Does the preposit prepositio take the accusativus or the ablativus? And um, the basic rule is um, ab, the prepositions ab cum de, ex in pro, sine sub praecoram, and a plus ab are the same thing, and then also e and x are the same thing. So um, those all take the ablative, and then the accusatives uh, um, are taken by the prepositions ad apud in per prope post ante inter circum and um, contra trans. Uh, there are a couple others that take the accusative. And so if you know that rule, uh, if you know those prepositions, then you should be able to quickly do this exercise. So a takes the ablative. And so senatus is a fourth declension noun. So senatus, senatus. So the ablative singular, senatu. Ab is the same as a, also takes the ablative. And then herb, erps, urbis. Is fourth is third declension, so erps, urbis, urbi, urbem, urbe, ab urbe, and then ad it takes the accusative, ad apud in prope, post ante, and so we la is the first declension noun, and so the accusative singular is we lam. Okay, so good luck on the rest of those. Let's try exercise number 18. Okay, here we have practice with two endings that are identical but have very different meanings, era and era. Uh, so which it's asking here utrum infinitivum present uh, which one is utrum which one is the present infinitive and you put an inf for that one or which one is the per third person plural perfect um, active indicative uh, that is you're going to put a perf for and so tenera means to hold and so that is the infinitive but venere is actually short for venerunt, which means they have come or they arrived. So um, each one of these, you need to know the infinitive uh, and know if it you know, if it's using a perfect stem. For example, this first one, temera, temeo temera, is the infinitive meaning to um, be afraid. But now we have the perfect stem here, tim u era. So just this u is the only thing that distinguishes these two forms. And that is going to be the third person um, plural perfect. They feared. They f they feared. So we're going to put P-E-R-F for perfect. Nekawere uh, means uh, it is to kill. So Nekawere is going to be the perfect from Nekare. So P-R-F. And then Kawera means to beware, to be uh, to be afraid of, and so to be cautious of, and that is just the infinitive. Now, one thing that might throw you off a little bit, and let me get to these in a second, so fecera is perfect, and decera is actually a, probably an incorrect form, it, probably from docera, which is an infinitive. Okay, here we go, with widera. Uh, video widera, widi, so wide, widera, with a short i here, is the infinitive. We dera with a long i. That's the only dis that's that is the stem for the perfect. So we know that this is going to be perfect. So that's the only thing that may be a little tricky for you here on this section, is knowing the perfect form when there is no letter change except for a lengthening of the first vowel here. Okay, so try the rest of those and let's go on to exercise 19. Here we have practice with our principal parts from constare meaning to agree, constiti, constitisse, comolescara, to grow strong, convaluisse, uh, cooriri, to arise, coortum, esse, to have arisen. Okay, so go ahead and try the rest of those. Again, this section you should try multiple times until you can get all of these forms. These principal parts are critical. You can't form the verbs, obviously, without them. Okay, so uh, we're done with this chapter. You're ready to go on to the pensa, and good luck.